In the vast, windswept grasslands of North America, a masked bandit once haunted the night. A creature so elusive, so skilled in the art of disappearance, that for a time, the world believed it was gone forever. This is not a ghost story, but the incredible, true tale of the black-footed ferret, a story of survival against all odds, a testament to the resilience of nature, and a race against time to save one of the continent's most endangered mammals. For centuries, this slender hunter, with its striking black mask and paws, was the undisputed king of the prairie dog towns. A highly specialized predator, its entire existence was intricately woven with the fate of another species, the prairie dog. These bustling underground cities provided everything the ferret needed, food, shelter, and a nursery for its young. In fact, prairie dogs make up over 90% of their diet. But as the American West was tamed, the ferret's kingdom began to crumble. Vast expanses of prairie were plowed for crops and prairie dogs were seen as pests by farmers and ranchers. Widespread poisoning campaigns decimated prairie dog populations and with them, the black-footed ferret's primary food source vanished. By the mid-20th century, the silence on the prairie was deafening. The ghost of the prairie had seemingly vanished. In 1979, the last known captive black-footed ferret died and the species was declared extinct in the wild. But then, in 1981, a discovery that would change the course of conservation history Near Matitsi, Wyoming, a ranch dog named Shep brought home a strange creature. It was a black-footed ferret. A small, isolated population had survived, hidden from the world. It was a second chance, a glimmer of hope in the face of extinction. The discovery ignited a frantic race against time. This tiny population was soon threatened by disease, including sylvatic plague and canine distemper. To save the species, a bold and risky decision was made. Capture every last wild black-footed ferret to start a captive breeding program. In 1987, the last 18 known individuals were brought into captivity, and the fate of an entire species rested on their survival. At specialized breeding centers, scientists worked tirelessly to increase their numbers, and slowly, painstakingly, the population began to grow. From just a handful of founders, a new generation of black-footed ferrets was born. The ultimate goal was always to return them to their rightful place in the wild. Beginning in 1991, a massive reintroduction effort was launched. Ferrets had been released in states like Wyoming, South Dakota, Montana, and Arizona as well as in Canada and Mexico. These reintroductions are a complex dance of science and strategy, requiring healthy prairie dog colonies and ongoing management to protect the ferrets from disease. Today, there are over 30 reintroduction sites across North America. But the story doesn't end there. The threats that drove them to the brink of extinction still linger. Sylvatic plague, a non-native disease, remains a constant danger to both ferrets and prairie dogs. And habitat loss continues to be a challenge. Conservationists are using innovative techniques to combat these threats, from developing vaccines to dusting prairie dog burrows with insecticide to kill fleas that carry the plague. In a groundbreaking leap for conservation, Scientists have even turned to cloning to help bolster the species' genetic diversity. In 2021, the world was introduced to Elizabeth Ann, the first successfully cloned black-footed ferret created from the frozen cells of a ferret that died over 30 years ago. This incredible scientific achievement holds the promise of reintroducing lost genetic variation back into the population making them more resilient to disease and environmental changes. From being declared extinct in the wild,
to a population of around 400 individuals today. The journey of the black-footed ferret is a powerful reminder of what is possible when we refuse to give up on a species. They are a symbol of the wild spirit of the American prairie, a testament to the dedication of countless individuals and a beacon of hope for endangered species everywhere. The future of the black-footed ferret is still being written, but with continued efforts to protect their habitat and fight disease, this masked bandit of the prairie will hopefully roam the grasslands of North America for generations to come.